Hey, welcome to Raven Oak Art Tutorials. My name is Caleb Knowles, and I hope you are having an absolutely incredible day. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and we are going to create something today that is very awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. I thought today it would be something dark, ominous, uh, foresty, smoky, wilderness, and just something cool. Um, the canvas is a prime black gesso canvas that is stretched and um, it has a coat of liquid clear all over it. It's very even, moved all over. <laughs> and um, also there's a little bit of viridian green on it. So we will use that with some light to create some color. So let's go ahead and grab, instead of our two inch brush that we normally start off with, not this, but this is what we're gonna use, our fan brush. Let me spin it so you can see it. And all we're gonna do is go inside of, well, let me show you all our palette before we even get started. We got liquid white, cad yellow, alizarin crimson, yellow ochre, viridian green, Mars black, sat green, and Prussian blue. So a lot of dark colors with a little bit of light. And to start things off, you're gonna grab that fan brush and you're just gonna wiggle it inside the white and grab some of that Viridian Green. And we're gonna choose a spot kind of towards the top and we're just gonna straight lines down. You might have some a little bit higher than others and that's fine. I'm gonna set down the palette real quick on my bucket. <laughs> and we're just gonna kinda send some lines straight down. It's kinda like when we do our Northern Lights a little bit. And make sure your middle's a little bit lighter. Maybe because you got the light source there. Maybe over here, going around. here. Yep. Straight lines, straight lines. Let's keep going up and down with it. You're all like, I just joined in on this just to learn how to do a line. Well, yeah, you did. <laughs> we'll see. Just be patient with me. Let it take form, all right? It's going to look crazy at first, like a lot of things. So, all right, so we got that now. Let's go back to our two inch brush. Grab yourself a clean one. And all you're gonna do is just kind of gently go up with it. Yep, just up with it. And if you want, you can bring it down a little bit by pulling it down. And all you're doing is softening this crazy background we got here. Especially down here at the bottom, just pull it down. You don't want to be able to tell where it begins and ends. You'll see why in one second. So we got all that, all those lines. We got all that stuff going. Let's go ahead and give some light to these uh, these woods. Grab yourself another another um, fan brush, and we'll choose a dark color. Maybe grab some black. A little bit of that alizarin crimson. A little bit of this burnt, not burnt umber. I'm trying to make a burnt umberish color because I seem to have forgot to add it to my palette. But so we got this, and all you gotta do is just choose some spots where there's like in between areas that kind of look like maybe trees, and you're just gonna maybe right here, maybe right here, right here. And make sure the bottom kind of is thicker than the top. Because as trees go upward, they tend to lose that thickness. So you want to keep it thick. And yeah, I like it. Might be a little hard to see, but trust me, those trees are there. 
you can even bring it right there. All right, so we got those trees kind of formed up. Let's go back to our palette knife and we'll mix in some yellow ochre. Some yellow ochre now right here. Grab a little bit of white. Maybe a little bit of that viridian because I like that color. Kind of highlight the edges of these trees. In fact, I'm even going to start down low on them. Make sure your line is following the trees. This place looks magical. I'm even going to stand up a little bit so I can make sure I got them. So now we got these on the left side, let's do the opposite on the right side. So we're gonna basically pull our trees now this way. And we got a little bit more white to it if you want it a little bit brighter. Ooh, that's bright. Same thing on this side. Yeah. Now we got this beautiful forest. That quick. It's really neat. All the tricks and stuff you can do with a palette knife. Like, I highly doubt whoever invented the palette knife had full comprehension of all the little things that he just invented. He probably was like, I'm gonna make this just the mitts paint. And little did he know, he just gave us one of the greatest tools in all of art. All right, I'm gonna wipe off this palette knife. I'm gonna go back to our fan brush that has that dark tree color on it. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of drag this down, drag down your kind of foots of the trees. <laughs> and these jokers don't have to be necessarily like really detailed because we're about to do some cool stuff. Let me go back to a. Uh, let me actually create the color first. So. Here we go, grabbing the palette knife, grabbing some yellow ochre, maybe a little bit of the bright um, bright yellow, the cad yellow, and then mix a little bit of that viridian. Okay. And just a touch, like an absolute touch of your white. And you should get the snot color. Just tap it in on that two-inch brush. And just very gently choose your spots. One of my first paintings that I ever sold was actually a forest painting. And I did that one with just gold. And it turned out really neat. It's barely showing up the exact color that I want, but that's perfectly fine. I just kind of want a greenish color. So, as you get farther away, let it get darker. <laughs> See how visible that's looking. Oh, that's looking pretty good, actually. I like that. A lot of times I have to look back at the camera because I'm like is this even showing up on camera <laughs> but this is actually kind of showing up so I'm, I'm, I'm content with it all right so we got that going let's uh, go back to our cad yellow actually not cad yellow let's go with burnt umber first and we're just gonna put it right here 
because I want a very yellowish color here. And regrettably, I got to probably have to clean off my, uh, my palette knife because I picked up a lot of green, but let's see how this looks. Oh, yeah. And towards the edge over here, trees, maybe more lights coming through in here. Tap it very gently with this two inch brush. Right here, bring it a little bit further. Same thing on this side, reverse it a little bit. All you want is it to be on the edge of your brush. like I just got a triangle here so let's let's bring these all the way across hmm. show off some distance maybe some lights reaching out over here just a little bit don't want too much now when you get to the side you get darker so down here should be dark by less pressure ain't that neat how that just forms by itself all right so i'm just gonna go back to our fan brush that i used to do our wild background back there. Actually, before I do that, I want to do something else. I'm going to grab a script liner and I'm just going to put some paint thinner on it. Or actually, let me reword that because I tell you guys paint thinner. I don't even want you guys going out and buying paint thinner because that stuff, first, is very expensive, but more importantly, that stuff's nearly uh, cancerous. Right? It probably is one of the most dangerous things you can mess around with. I actually use baby oil because it's a lot cheaper and I actually enjoy living so but yeah let's uh, just come up here and you just just drag some lines down like some tree branches are coming out there let's maybe grab some right here and you just Same thing. Where these tree branches are hanging down. These trees have been here for many years. It's kind of like they're holding hands. You might hear my dog in there. She's she barks while she's asleep. Dreams are running. funny I got two dogs and I don't know if I got a lot of dog owners on here but can't always tell which dogs are doing something <laughs> they, those two they are so opposite of each other got myself a boy and a girl their names are Kodiak and Casca those two are just full of character. Very different character, but character nonetheless. And this tree that's out here is very dark. Wow, that is so cool. So neat how that just turns out. 
Okay, so back to my uh, my fan brush that I was talking about earlier, and it still kind of has this color on it, but I'm actually gonna mix it with a little bit of Prussian blue because we haven't used any, and I'm like, well, well why do I have it on the, the uh, canvas? So, just... all right, watch this. Just choose a spot back here, just gently. kind of form a river. When you do that, don't forget to kind of hit in some stuff where the water might be hitting. Just real gently, real fast, I mean, not gently. And you just, maybe it's hitting. always I got my jazz going it's good for the soul hey we'll do a big one here okay maybe even right here that's one make sure they come up don't don't do like I did where they come down unless you like it like that some people do I'm more of a fan of it kind of doing its own thing and going up but whatever whatever you like that's what you do it's your world it's true you can have absolutely no power in the real world but here with a paintbrush in your hand you are limitless Okay, cool. Just make sure your lines, I don't know if I said this earlier, are horizontal also. You do not want all sorts of funky lines. <laughs> yeah, all these colors just taking on a life of their own. And with the tip, top, Zoom this out a little bit. Not zoom it out, but pull it out. <laughs> Ain't that just awesome? Like, just how cool these effects are. Just moving your wrist, and now you just created a whole forest. Like, that's that is painting for you. There's just so much cool stuff you can do with it. That's why I'm like always trying to convince people to give this stuff a try. It's, it's just good for the soul, you know? Oop. Did a little too much with pressure on that. And let's just do the same thing over here and kind of pull this out a little bit. Kind of blend it. Because when you're doing this, you don't want to be able to tell where the water starts and the, um, the land, you know, Kind of starts you want there to be kind of a blend like a natural flow on this so let's go back and maybe we'll add a little bit of stone and rocks and stuff like that kind of just give it some 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 flavor to it i'm just going to grab some black and just kind of i'm actually i'm not even going to use just my tip here as a white <laughs> Just kind of chew some spots. Maybe right here. I know it's hard to see, but. Yeah. And then you just 
time to go back and Scratch in some indications of stone and make sure it's flat here to wipe off my palette knife as I throw my palette across the room. <laughs> so, let's, um, actually, I think it'd probably be better if I just start off in the flat. And just find some stones right here. Rocks kind of doing their thing back there. Also, if you make noises, think like a think like a rock right here. <laughs> Maybe some kind of go. some spots maybe there's some rocks back here and you're just barely touching it you do not want hardly any pressure and maybe you gotta be brave here this can this can scare a lot of people out of doing this painting just choosing a spot maybe right here Maybe that's why the water is being separated. You got just, just kind of scratch very gently underneath. And as you get further away, less pressure. Maybe they cool. Got these big boulders and stuff. Maybe this one. This one's a little bit out there, so I'm just... Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Really cool stuff right there. Now I'm just gonna go back and grab me a one-inch brush. And I'm just gonna tap in on some yellow ochre and just kinda... Okay, so now we got all this cool stuff in the background. Let's um, let's get real brave with it. Let's go back to our ambush. And um, yeah, I got that previous dark color on here still that we used to kind of make these trees. And let's just kind of, I don't know, we'll choose a, choose a spot maybe. Bring this tree down a little bit. Maybe he's right here. And since he's there, we'll put one right there, kind of going in front of that one. And we'll give this guy a buddy, maybe one going like this, but right here. Make sure you kind of give them footholds. Ain't that cool? And since we're a little bit closer, if I can find my palette knife, I'm gonna do what we did last time. And just kind of, we'll start at the top. Maybe. And just kind of go that way. Same thing here. And all this is is our highlight color, which was kind of a yellowish color. Because I made the 
the mistake of not putting down no uh, burnt umber, which I normally use to make my trees, but it's good to try different colors. I'm actually gonna stand up and try not to Maybe a little bit more white to it. This may be some, um, I guess y'all can see. That's when picked up some black, but let's just. Just have it the same size. <laughs> That's neat. That's very neat. And we'll go back to our script liner that we were previously using. Put some more paint thinner on it. And just kind of drag this up. Some branches are falling down here. <laughs> That's really neat. That's really, really neat. Awesomeness, all this great stuff going on. I think we need one big tree right here. It's like a really giant. I'm gonna go back. Should be our last time. I'm not gonna promise you anything. I like doing trees, so I'm gonna go to our dark color. Actually, I accidentally dipped it in my paint thinner. I don't want to do that. So I don't have issues highlighting. So I'm gonna do a big tree. All right, watch this. We'll give him a foot hill. I mean, this joker is a big tree. I'm maybe even putting some Prussian blue to I make noises with it, man. This stuff really does help, you know. I know, I don't know who's the first person to say that, Bob or Bill, but whoever was the first person to say that was 100% correct. Making noises definitely, definitely helps you paint better. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go up to our, I'll do cad yellow actually. And we'll maybe mix it in with some white. That's a really bright color we got there. I want it a little bit dark. I'm gonna add some, some green. All right, and you'll see what I'll do with that in a second. I'm just gonna actually use white with our burnt umber. And be careful when you're doing this because I almost did this just a second ago. I got mixed up with my trees with my double vision, you know, so be careful. You don't want to put bark on one tree and then it it ends up it's supposed to go on another so I'm just gonna kind of go across this edge here when that happens you can kind of highlight where your tree you believe is supposed to be <laughs> like I just did and just kind of yeah and we'll just give it some highlights here and look at all that distance that's so cool I'm gonna keep it going up here. And bring it all the way down here. Mm -hmm -hmm. As it gets lower, it gets darker. You can even scratch out some stuff if you don't if you don't want your bark to just be totally one color. 
And now, I don't know if y'all guessed it, we're going back to our script liner. And this is probably the most y'all have ever seen me use a script liner brush. It's a very useful brush whenever you want some, some stuff. You just kind of... <laughs> Bring some this way. Oh man, that's beautiful. That that branch right there, that's been my favorite branch. If you asked me five years ago if I would have ever said, said that sentence, I'd probably say uh, you're crazy thinking I'm about to say a branch is my favorite branch, but that one definitely has been my favorite branch so far. Give it a second, I'll probably find another branch I like. <laughs> and we'll just kind of Give some lines here. Man, that is so beautiful. So much indication of just cool stuff going on. All right, now, I'm gonna push this waterfall a little bit back. I guess I can find my brush. There's my brush. So I'm gonna actually grab first my um, my two inch brush. All I'm gonna do is just kind of we got all this darkness. Throw a little bit of green on it. And now okay. we'll just kind of. careful don't don't do what I do I do it like almost every video send one painting flying send the painting flying and all I'm doing is putting a little bit more yellow and maybe I'm running it up the tree a little bit Maybe there's some moss growing up the tree. And I'm gonna hold this because. And look at that. That's, that's beautiful. Maybe a little bit more yellow on the edges. Oh man. Because the light's coming through at the middle. Ain't that just neat, man? Like that's really cool. Like how how fast you can just do that. Just gently. <laughs> See, like how many times have I done this? <laughs> it's all good. Oh man, I had a little bit of a mess up on it, but I can always just go back and tap in some stuff. All right. <laughs> Builds character. Actually, just show y'all what I'm talking about with um, kind of, uh, making mistakes and fixing it even drag now we got a light Maybe. keep it going all the way up to the top wow Kind of go back and maybe 
see something comes out this way now. Maybe even over the waterfall a little bit. We're just taking this motion. Since less light now is hitting here, since less light is hitting on this side, we won't have to do it necessarily there, but that's really cool. We just took this accident I just had and winged it. Hmm. Let's see if y'all can see how close it is. we have a painting of light coming down through the uh, this river this river we got and here I'm gonna try to do a close-up on this so you guys can see the um, the uh, the painting hey guys so this is the end result right here I'm very pleased with the way this thing turned out. You guys can see all the cool branches coming down, all that fun stuff. Um, if you look real close, you can kind of see where we had our accident, but we are able to turn it into a very cool situation with the light shining down. and It really created a cool effect. I had a lot of fun on this one, guys. So if you guys enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, share, all that YouTuber fun stuff. And... Um, Thank y'all for supporting the channel, and I'm going to continue to try to be doing these videos and um, sharing all this cool stuff. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. Y'all have an awesome day, and God bless. Bye.